Hello everyone, welcome to the sixth episode and hopefully the last episode on this Tetris game development tutorial series. So as I, as I stated in the last video, we're going to fix the color thing because right now it is only painting a gray color which looks uh, not good. So. We're gonna start creating a variable in our shape class, an integer, and we're gonna call this color. Then we're going to our uh, constructor and we're gonna pass it so int color, and down here we can just initialize it so color equal to color, and we're also gonna create a getter for this variable. So public int get color return color. Alright. Now instead let's go to our update method. And in here when we collide, when we are in this part of code, we're we're making the position equal to one. We're going to make it equal to color. So we're going to draw depending on the color. That's it for our shape class. Let's go to the board class and we're going to have an error here because we added another parameter. We're just going to add it like this. For the eye shape, we're just going to type 1, 2, 3 for the S. You can uh, combine this as you wish. I'm just going to do this in order. 5, 6, 7. Okay, so now we are setting the position of the board with a number from 1 to 6. So when we render uh, the board just here, instead of, of drawing it from uh, the 0, 0 position, we're going to draw it at the board at row and co minus one because we're dealing with index and we're going to multiply this for the block size that way we can uh, select a color from the uh, board for example if, the, if there is a one which means we're trying to draw the this red one, so we subtract the one because we're getting, dealing with the indexes, and it will be zero for the block size, and we'll cover this. If there's a two, it will be this one minus one, it will be one, which is zero one. The orange. One. Hope you understand that. Okay. So now in here we are just going to uh, get the index here the random index and we're gonna use the get we for the color that we just created. Let me cut this so you can see it. Shape index dot get color and with that we get right of all the errors. Try run and let's see if it's working. Yep everything is working. Now the game looks more uh pretty and playable with this but now it, it has still uh, something that we need to add and which is disappearing the lines that are complete I mean the rows which which is this one this one should disappear so we're gonna add this feature to our game so let's go to our shape class and it's really actually easy Let's create a method here under under this rendering can be and it's going to be private because we are only going to access it from this class. So private void and it's going to be check line. Alright, just, just give him some space. Okay, so we're going to start checking the lines from the bottom top so we're gonna start at the height of the 
board so let's create a variable int high equal to board get board uh, dot length minus one and we're going to loop uh, uh, decreasing so the opposite uh, we use with this for int i so we're going to start at the height so height and as long as i is greater than zero we're just subtracting one to the to i and now we're going to create a count variable and we're going to check if it's com it's uh, full, it's complete, then we can delete it so it's going to start 0 for each uh, iteration and now here we can check the columns uh, as we usually do so int j equals 0 j less than board or get board at zero position dot length j plus twelve. Okay, I'm just gonna and here we just need to ask if bore dot get bore at i position and at j position it's not equal to zero then we're just going to increase count by one and we're just going to check if the full line is uh, it's, uh, complete with blocks then we can just switch from the line of, of the up so uh, here we just need to say bore dot get bore at the height position and we're going to modify this variable whenever we, uh, the line is complete so at high and at j it's going to be equal to bore dot get bore at i at, at j like this and when we finish our loop we should need to say if count is less than bore dot get bore zero dot length we can just say height minus one and sorry height forgot the D no okay so if the if the line is not complete uh, this will be just the same so we're not actually switching uh, rows at the position of the shape so of the shape not at the board so let's go up here when we collide and we're going to check lines uh, whenever we collide so we're just going to call this check line and that is going to do everything for us so now let's run our game we're going to see okay that's not okay we just need to cover that hole not yet okay this can work so the line this last line should disappear right there it did it so it's working so we have a fully functional tetris right now which is awesome and there the line disappeared and disappear again over so yeah we are pretty much done with tetris i mean now we can play it so it's time to fix some bugs that we have so for instance what i told you in the last video when we're about to fall when you're rotating it's floating we can fix this really quick just go to the rotation and just ask if collision if we collide we're just going to return because we don't want to rotate when we know we already collided so if I run okay not this shape okay the same alright so if I am rotated okay I was too slow or the problem is gone <laughs> okay 
we still have another problem and I'm gonna show you let's go through board class and just for testing purposes I'm just going to check change index for the zero uh, shape which is the eye shape I'm going to sh show you an error that we need to fix whenever we are rotating here it it's going to rotate and overlap the, sh the other shape as you can see bad error we need to fix it and it's actually really easy let me show you go to the shape class and all of those errors are happening when we rotate so let's go to rotation and okay and it's not actually that hard we're just going to check the place at where we are rotating and we're going to check at the board if there are uh, blocks in there if if that's true we just need to return from this statement so for int row equals zero row less than the board height so board that get board dot length and row plus plus and another for loop to the uh, column so equals zero column less than board dot get board at zero oh okay no I'm missing something just call plus plus we're not checking board here which actually checking rotated matrix I'm sorry about that mistake obviously we're ch checking uh, every block at the rotating matrix yeah really that's a confusion so if uh, on, uh, the on, now we can just set the board this time and we're just going to check y plus row and x plus call and we're going to check it's not equal to zero which means the position uh, we are rotating uh, must be uh, different to zero so I mean must be zero if it's equal to zero then we can rotate if not equal to zero we're just going to say return and we don't rotate I'm sorry for the confusion hope you understand that part we're just pretty much doing the same as not allowing to rotate outside of the bounds so now let's check this and I'm going to try to rotate there not able to rotate so the, the error is gone I'm not able to rotate right now also so yeah I think that's pretty much it you can delete the reference grids for now so I'm just going to change this to index again okay and so we're just one step away to finish we need to check uh, whenever th uh, the game is over so when there is no more space because right now it start doing that weird thing up there with the colors and it's really ugly so we're just going to check if the game is over so let's go to board class and create a private boolean variable called game over and set it equal to false and here in the update method we're just going to say if game over then we just want to stop uh, drawing so we just set the timer that stop so timer dot stop and we are going to set that variable just exactly when we check when we set a new shape so here for and actually I'm gonna copy this just I don't want to spend more time we're just going to look through the uh, old uh, coordinate, coordinates 
of the current shape so we got uh, quite a lot of for loops and you can actually try uh, to optimize this code because we got a lot of for loops but that's up to you I'm gonna leave it at simple as this so I'm just going to check actually with this sentence going to copy this I'm just going to change course or uh, current shape dot get course and just okay I'm just going to copy this like so and just brackets here okay so we're just going to check if for at the white position of the current shape you can uh, create a getter but if you know if you may know the, the start position of the shape is zero so we're just not going to set it and we're just going to set uh, the row and the column plus the x position is the start x position which is four it was four or three I don't remember uh, it's three I'm sorry three and we're going to check if that position is uh, not equal to zero no but in case it is equal to zero which means I'm sorry it's not equal to zero which is going to set game over to true okay so it will be the end of the game so then just going to stop you can set a menu or something let's check it out down boom 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 and we we'll start the game there because we're not getting that weird uh, color shape coloring shapes all the time so the game is done for now so thanks for watching I appreciate if you made it to here I hope you learned something if you get any question about the game or some anything you can leave it down below in the comments and see you in the next time.